Good morning again. This is Eagle Nick Audits. I'm sorry. I somehow had cut out the video. I did not mean to. I wasn't doing it for salationism or nothing like that. My hands are cold and it's causing my hands to shake a little bit. I'm not actually scared or anything, you know. I am allowed to be doing what I'm doing. You know, if they say, well, do you got a box back here? I say, no, sir, but I've got a camera back here. Huh. I wonder why they didn't utilize that last little space here at the end of the wall to put one more row. They just ended it with a wall. They could have put one more in there and it protected the corner of that wall, you know, where nobody could come through the wall. I mean, not that anybody would, because, you know, like, really, what, what you want in the post office, steal some mail? Not unless you're an identity thief. I just don't think I see poster seven. Hmm. Maybe this branch is so little that... There's their greeting cards. This is also where you get your passports. Well, I can't help but film the public. I'm filming her doing her job. I'm not trying to listen in or nothing. Contractor in the building. Oh, I wonder how come that uh, poster seven is not hanging in here. Lyndon B. Johnson, president, nineteen sixty six. So this post office was actually dedicated one year before I was born. That door right straight back there is passports with the blue sign. The open door it used to be, I thought, but now they moved it over to the right. It used to go back to the left. Got nice curtains on the windows. Look, they have a birthday card for anyone. I don't answer questions, sir. Uh, poster 7 should be posted in here. It says, I am allowed. I'm conducting a First Amendment audit. I'm exercising my constitutional right. Yes, sir. I believe you need to talk to the Postmaster General. You need Poster 7 posted. It is a protected under the First Amendment. Call the police, sir, if that's what you feel you need to do. But you need to talk to your Postmaster first. You are trying to violate my constitutional rights, and I will not allow it. I'm doing what I'm allowed to do. I'm not filming the public, but I can. I could film the public if I wanted to, sir. I I'm not leaving, sir. I do not have to. You cannot violate my rights. I will be right outside when they come in the parking lot, sir. I'd just like you to know I just did a First Amendment audit on City Hall. 
So uh, I know my rights. Sir, you are a public servant. If you did not want to be filmed, get you a job working at McDonald's. You know what I mean? You work for me, I don't work for you. I don't answer questions. I told him what I'm doing. I am conducting a First Amendment audit. Thank you, ma'am. Would you please explain to him that I am allowed? I would like to know how come there is not a poster seven. Ma'am, you are a public servant. You work for me. I don't work for you. Do you understand that y'all are supposed to have poster seven? Ma'am, I'm sorry. I got deafness in one ear, so sometimes I get a little loud. I don't like somebody telling me what I can't do when I know it's protected under the First Amendment. So we don't have to answer the the post office is supposed to have poster seven posted. And that says that it is a First Amendment protected activity to po to record even in a federal courthouse. And I will be going to the other two. You're doing a great job, ma'am, but I don't know who this guy was. Can I have your name, ma'am? Okay, Bob, we'll get it, ma'am. I tell you what, I will do an open records request because guess what? Public record, ma'am. I was not filming the public, just the post office. I wasn't filming that man. He come up into my view, so he engaged me. I did not engage him. You have a nice day, and I will wait right out here on them so I can continue my audit and move over to an audit at a Dalton City Police Department. I already have the city hall. You have a nice day. You're dismissed. Tell the man he's dismissed also. Have a great day. You too, ma'am. We're going to go out here and wait on the police. They won't be coming from far. Because like I said, we ain't going nowhere. Try to tell me what I can't do. Protect it under the First Amendment. I'm sorry that I got a little loud. I'm, I have deafness in my left ear. Plus, I don't like being told that I'm a dumbass, you know, act like I'm stupid. I know what I'm doing. Definitely, she must not know what she's doing, and he must not know what he's doing. She refused to identify herself, and she's a public servant. She works for me. I don't work for her. She asked me what my name was and stuff. I don't answer questions. We're just waiting on the popo. See if uh, I hope they send police chief casing again and not a bunch of bacon. Because if when they come up, I'm gonna tell them last them while they're here. You know. Got easy access and an easy exit. That's a city administration building of some kind right here. I don't know what it is yet. You can see these police vehicles parked over there. We don't want to film the public. Even though I can, there's no expectation of privacy in public. You know, looking out their cars, it's called Plain View Doctrine. If I can see it, I can record it. And I am outside and my hands is getting cold again, so if the camera starts shaking, please forgive me. Like I said, I'm not nervous. I'm not worried because I know I'm doing what I'm allowed to do. They don't understand that. Then they need to get poster seven. Read it, study it, and post it on the wall like they're supposed to. I think they're a bunch of coward chickens. I don't think they're going to call them anyway. I wish they would. I will film for as long as I want, anywhere I want, as long as I'm in the public. This is the sidewalk. Right in front of the post office. 
We're going to go get some direct views. Trying to tell me, oh, you can't record in there. Then I asked her her name and uh, she refused to identify herself. The other dude I, on an ego trip, a tyrant, think he owns me. I guess he thought I had his phone recording, but guess what? I think he's wrong. This is Eagle Nick Audits, and this belongs to me. How they can fly that American flag and act so un-American to try to take away my constitutional rights. But guess what? Eagle Nick Audits does not allow it. They can threaten and intimidate me all they want. They can take me to jail, but as soon as they do, watch out. It'll be Eagle Nick's day in court, and they won't like it. There's a car pulling in, so I go back to flag so as not to record them. Just to show that I'm not actually trying to film the public, even though that is my right. I have been recording for going on 12 minutes this time and nine minutes the first time, so over 20 minutes total, and I've not seen a police officer yet. I hope they send a police officer and not a pound or two of bacon, you know what I mean? I did not order no bacon sandwich, and here he is pulling in. Number 46 with the Dalton Police Department. Good morning, sir. I'm doing just fine. How are you? Can I get your name and badge number? Yes, sir. So, what, you want to tell me what's going on? We apparently got Let me back up just a little bit. Don't get so close on me. I'm conducting a First Amendment audit, okay. which is protected under the United States Constitution, and they're trying to tell me I cannot film inside. Okay. They are supposed to have Poster 7 posted that says that it is allowed. They need to contact the Postmaster General and stay off my ass because they don't know what they're talking about, and I do. Okay. Can you tell me what, what happened? So I'm assuming you just went inside and recorded. I recorded all around the parking lot, the back of the parking lot. Then I went inside, went all the way down, all the way down. Then I went inside to where they're actually at okay. and started recording the cards. Okay. Everything that's uh, accessible by the public gotcha. can be recorded. Okay. Uh, so what happened? Did they like, approach you? And no, sir, but the man behind the counter come out here telling me to get out. Uh, the, a lady come up saying the same thing, and uh, I told her that I didn't have to get out, that I'm doing what I'm allowed to do. Uh -huh. I asked her to identify herself, and she said, we don't answer questions. No, I don't answer questions. She is a public servant. She works for me. I do not work for her. No, sir, I did not give out my name. Okay, it's fine. I'm doing a First Amendment audit. That is my Fourth Amendment right to be safe and secure in my person, papers, and property. Well, I'm just making sure you do, sir. Yes, sir, I am too. Listen, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get loud. I'm deaf in my left ear. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not here. Look, sir, I'm not mad at you. I'm not irate at you, but... How would you like it if they told you, hey, you can't be out here riding around as a police officer? I know. I'm going to go in there. Are you aware that when you are off duty that you can record too, even though you're a police officer, it's First Amendment protected activity? Could you explain that? Am I right? Am I allowed to film in the... As far as I know, yes. Yes, sir. But let me just go in here and find out what they're saying. Would you please make them aware of that? I will. And tell them they work for me. I do not work for them. And they are dismissed, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And hey, first, let me say something. 
I uh, did a First Amendment audit of City Hall. Police Chief Casey was awesome. Sir, you are too. Dalton's finest really made me Dalton's finest. Okay. I did have a run in one time when there was a, a bad wreck down 41. They had to call in life force and a city police officer cussed me like a dog. And I cussed him back and I thought he was going to shoot me. Tommy, he finally told me, he said, get the fuck out of here. And I said, I fucking will because I knew he couldn't do nothing. So, uh, uh, Free speech, sir. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, it's okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I, like I said, I'm deaf in one ear. See, I told you. Go in there and explain it to him. Educate them. Give them a little education. Tell them they need to go back to school. Plain view doctor. We're going to make sure we get all this car. Number 46. Let's go back here and get that tag number. So we'll know who we was dealing with. I need to see if he's got his body camera footage. If he's got his body cam on. Because I'll need to do an open record request on his body camera footage. From the post office. Uh-oh, we have another one pulling in. <coughs> I did not order a bacon sandwich. You're dismissed, sir. The other officer's done handling it, so I don't need you. I did not call you. You're dismissed. I did not call you. I did not order no bacon sandwich, sir. I'm conducting a First Amendment audit protected under the First Amendment. Well, it's all right. You send one police. You send two. You send a bacon sandwich. I'm not hungry. If I'm hungry, I'll go to Kelly's restaurant and get me something to eat. As long as I don't use fighting words, there's nothing they can do. I know that too, so let them try. And I will sue them. Violating my constitutional rights. Oh, they got the windows closed. Yeah, they closed the windows on me here where I can't see in. See if they're out in the lobby or if they're in here hiding. Here he is. There's that male Karen. There's that tyrant that says I can't record. I believe he's getting an education. Hey, like that, you're getting paid and you got a free education at the same time. You know, working for the federal government looks like you wouldn't know the Constitution. You wouldn't be such a dumbass. Got a bunch of onlookers over there. Yeah, First Amendment audit, people. Nothing to see here. Move on. You're dismissed also. Yes, sir, that's right. Shaking his head, yes, he knows it's allowed. Good morning, sir. Here they come, both of them at one time. You got any questions for us, sir? No, sir, I just, I have one thing to say. Y'all have a blessed day. Uh, I thank y'all. 
for uh, yes, sir. They sure was, because guess what? They getting paid and got a free education. I'm gonna go tell him he's welcome. Let's go back in. Uh, can I talk to that gentleman again, or is he hiding? And the lady. Please, ma'am. I, I didn't film you, darling. No, you're fine. That's fine with me. Yeah, if you don't want to be filmed, get you a job working. Get you a real job working at Hardy's. There is no expectation of privacy in public. Listen to the birds up here in the ceiling. Listen. Y'all hear them birds? They're harboring birds. I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay, thank you. There he is. How you like that? He got a free education and so did the rest of you. Well, I already knew. Getting paid. Well, ma'am, why? Uh, can I ask you a question? Could you tell me why you didn't stand up for me and tell him that I was right? Uh, Could you tell me how come who there is not a post or seven posted in here like it's supposed to be? That's, that I don't know why there is. Well, I'm going to see if I can't change that. That needs to be on the wall. I agree, but that's why they Yes, ma'am, I agree too. I hey, uh, you know what? That lets me know they got one good employee up here for sure. <laughs> At least one good female employee, that is. This other one here, I don't know about her. She's a damn tyrant. Ma'am, would you uh, would you ID yourself now or are you still don't ask questions? Uh, did y'all enjoy y'all's free education while you're getting paid? You must have a lot of time on your hands, sir. I have 24 hours in a day, just like everybody else. Hey, Ma'am, when I ask you your name, you are required to ID yourself. You asking me, telling me I have to go out. Y'all sitting here telling me I can't do what I know I can't do. I can do, rather. Did that, did that city police officer not just inform you that don't matter if you like it or not, there ain't shit you can do about it. And guess what, ma'am? I didn't mean to say shit. It just come out. And guess what? But that is also protected under the First Amendment as free speech as long as it's not fighting words. Have you noticed I'm not trying to film the public, even though that is my right? You are a public servant. You work for me, the public. You work for the public. Your salary comes out of taxes. I pay taxes. Well, you are a taxpayer too, but you're also a public servant. If you don't want to be filmed... Get you a real job working at Hardee's. Why does she tell me that I can't film in here when this lady over here said she knowed I could, but she wouldn't stand up for me either. The other fella, he's a 